Dallas Wholesale CCTVs Help and Support video section. My name is George Boyle. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up an analog camera to one of your four channel standalone Linux based DVR systems. If you don't have any of this equipment, you can go to our website at www.dallaswholesalecctv.com, find the DVRs under standalone DVR selection, and then whatever camera you'd like for your choice. Today, to hook up a you know, single or four cameras from my DVR to a TV or monitor or whatever I choose, I'm going to use a four channel standalone, 500 milliamp power supply. If you don't know how much power you're going to need for your camera or cameras, you're going to be able to look that up in the instructions that come with whatever cameras you purchase. It should be pretty easy. I'm also going to use a pre-cut cable. These already have the ends on them that are appropriate for both camera and DVR ends. It makes it really easy and you don't have to have all the extra tools. I'm also going to use a PIR motion detector camera. I think these are pretty cool and especially if you're going to use them in your house to watch your children or maybe even a patio in your backyard, people really don't notice it's a camera and it's got a pretty cool look. So come on, let's get to connecting. Okay, now we're looking at the back side of your four channel standalone DVR. You're going to see a lot of stuff going on back here. You have your alarm input and outputs. They also include an RS-485 connection. That's going to be used to control PTZs and stuff that we're going to go over in advanced configurations. You have four channels of audio that you can input. You have four channels of video, an audio out, a video out, your spot monitor, HDMI output, VGA, and LAN adapter for your network access. First thing we're going to do today is connect our DVR to our monitor or TV screen. I'm going to take the end of the VGA cable and plug it in. After you have that securely fastened, grab that pre-cut cable you got earlier. You're going to see an end right here. This is a female end for your power and a BNC that's going to plug directly into the DVR. Go ahead and plug that into video one. Line it up, push it in, and twist clockwise. Remember that power supply you got earlier to go with whatever camera of your choice? You take that end and that DVR side, plug it into the cable. So that way you can send power over to your camera. Alright, now that we got everything connected on the back of the DVR and the camera powered to the wall, let's see if you have this screen on your computer monitor or TV. If you don't, and you're using a TV, make sure that you have the correct video input selected, VGA or HDMI, whatever output on the DVR you decided to use. Now it's time to plug in our camera and see if we did everything right. On your camera side and the other end of that pre-cut cable you got, these ends are going to match up correctly. So make sure the slots align, push in, turn clockwise. Make sure you have a secure connection. Then all you have to do is plug in the power. Oh, looks like we got some video. So we did everything correctly today. If you don't have video, leave me a comment below and let me know what's going on and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If there's anything else that I can help you out with or any other videos or tutorials you'd like me to film for you, leave me a comment in the section below and I'll see what I can do for you. Anyway, thanks for visiting our help and support site here at Dallas Wholesale CCTV. Again, I'm George Boyle. Have a great day.